Okay, Alicia, let's see how you've got on. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Faultless. Can't knock anything on that page. The only thing I will say to you is that um, if you made a small mistake there, because you haven't shown any workings out, you'd end up with nothing. Even if you'd have just written the 280 there and the 920 there, then you would still be able to get the marks for reading the scales. It doesn't matter, you got it right. So, marks of the page, 14. Well done, full marks. Right, here there is no method showing me what you've done. I'll tell you what I think you've done. I think you've counted squares and you've come up with 50 squares. Okay, in which case that would be on your way to the right answer. But what you've then got to do is multiply your number of squares by 5 because each square covers an area of 5. Because you haven't written anything there to show that, I can't clearly see your dots or anything on that sheet on that grid, I'm not in a position to give you any marks there, even though I think you're doing the right thing. That is diameter. That's not circumference. Circumference is the distance all the way around that circle's edge. What you've got there, where you have a line that touches the circle's edge, is a tangent. That is a pentagon. That's not a cuboid. This is a cuboid. Okay, a sort of rectangular box is a cuboid. This is a cylinder. And that is a triangular prism well then. So total for that page, one, two, three. Although I think you should have been getting at least one mark over there if you'd have told me more. 7.5 is correct. You haven't drawn a line, you've drawn two, you've drawn a triangle. It's not what it's asking you to do. Um, it's not very challenging if it just wanted you to use a ruler to join two points together. What they're looking for there is a line that's at right angles to this and goes through R. And the easiest way to draw that is use a clear ruler, take one of the long lines and line it up with your line. That means that this edge is going to be at right angles to it. Slide that along so that it touches R and then draw your line through and that's your perpendicular line and you can even put a little box on it to show that you know that that's 90 degrees. So you get the one mark for measuring, no marks for that. That is 51 and that is 23 but you need to make sure that you're clear that that's your answer. Okay? I'll give you the marks. Five for the page. What shall I explain that on the video clip? And um, hopefully that will be fairly straightforward for you to get your head around. With this question, you have to plot and label the points. You haven't labeled the points. It doesn't ask you to join them. So you're going to get no marks for joining them, and you're going to lose marks, because although they are, oh, two of them are in the right place, you're not making it clear to me which two. So you need to put the cross and then say that's point A, and it's right. You need to put the cross and say that is point C, and it's right. Point B is at 5 minus 2, so point B should be there. Okay. Now you're going to lose a mark because that's in the wrong place and you're also going to lose a mark because you didn't label them. So out of the three marks you are going to get one. This is good. So marks to the page five. This is right. That one's not. This work is known as algebra in context. Have a look at my explanation 
on the video clip and then if you need to practice them on Jones of Some website take a look for that in the foundation topic page algebra in context this is good that is 109 well done so there's one mark for that two marks for that that's correct and that's correct as well good well done Alicia now you've correctly put that in order and you've correctly identified that there are two medians there are two values in the middle when that happens you have to find out what the middle is of those two okay so you can either do that by sort of counting on or the other easy way of doing it is adding them together which is 60 and dividing that by 2 which is 30 so the median is actually 30 if there is a middle value that's fine if there isn't you have to do that to the middle two so you're going to get one out of two for that um, 45 minus 21 is correct but it ain't 34 it's 24 can't give you the mark there's only one mark for that mean is correct and this is really good um, this is really good because uh, nobody I don't think has got this right yet so well done for that okay you've you've worked it out in quite a complicated way if you watch the way that I've done it on the video maybe that will make more sense to you but it doesn't matter you have plenty of time and whatever works for you works for you so well done for that total for the page three five six ten thirteen that's good right what are we done here right this is not an equation okay there's no equal sign in it so it's not going to change signs anywhere this is known as simplifying algebra even if I can't spell it okay watch how I've done this on the video clip go to the foundation topics have a go at some simplifying algebra okay uh, you've misunderstood that totally that is six that is beautiful you don't stop at those points so you can keep those going beyond that but that doesn't matter so you got your three marks for that the other number is five well done watch what I've done on the video for that I'm sure you'll be able to work it work out how to do that six marks of the page is good though right this is an equation so this is where you do the maths as you've done earlier and you've got it spot on well done that's an inequality and these are indices okay watch how I've done them have a go on the John to sums topics I'm sure you make sense of that watch what I do on the video and that will be apparent to you okay utility bills let's see what you've done here well first of all I say I'm glad that you're not working up my utility bills because it isn't 15.07 pounds a day it's 15.07 pence big big difference um, so you've done that times that that's per year this is per day so you would multiply that by the number of days in the year okay so you you've made made a little mess within both of those this is pence so you've done the 2400 times 11.51 to get that pence but then you mustn't add that on you're going to multiply that by 360 first and the same thing there so i'm going to give you the mark the method mark for the 2400 times that and the 2400 times that but then you're not going to get anything else for the maths that you've done there all the comparisons that you've made okay so that's quite a tricky question um, but you have made a few errors within it and I'm guessing that you've run out of time before getting to this so overall then Alita you have scored 14 uh, 17, 22, 27, 40, 
46, 49, 50, 50 out of 100. Which is a grade E. You're five marks off a grade D with what you've done there. 